Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Wi-Fi on the Rebadge device. So, first thing you want to do is you want to come to your Rebadge portal, which is rebadge.services, um, where I left you in the previous video we were sitting at this page. As you can see before, it was a pending status, it is now active, so that's all good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select Devices, and then once you're on Devices, you want to go to Actions, and the little drop-down bar next to Actions, you want to click View. From here, you're going to want to enable Wi-Fi, so there's a little switch or a tab here, you want to click and let the Wi-Fi be enabled. Now, add Wi-Fi details is the next step, but what I'll get you to do first is actually depower the device, so unplug the power directly from the unit, and then click the Add Wi-Fi Details part. As you can see here, it says ensure your rebadge unit is turned off, and then pretty much the next step is you actually want to plug your power directly back into the unit. When the device boots up, it's going to activate the Wi-Fi card inside the actual device, and then it's going to start broadcasting for active Wi-Fi networks. Now, while this is happening, I'm going to point out that this LAN data cable still needs to be plugged in. It needs to be plugged in for a while. Um, I will tell you when you unplug it, but it's still going to be a little bit until we get to that point. So the device is going through its checks at the moment, making sure it has internet, making sure that the device is everything's okay on it. It may take a minute or two, just depending. So that now the device is booted back up, and it does say on there, do you wish to apply Wi-Fi settings? The box is unhighlighted at the moment because there's no Wi-Fi settings in the unit. So as you can see on the screen here, it's now discovered our local Wi-Fi networks that are around us. The Wi-Fi network I'm going to be using here is a 4G mobile device. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it has actual internet for it. So I already have done this before, so I already know that obviously the password for it. So you're going to hit submit. And now on the actual rebadge device itself, the apply settings tab is now actually lit up. So you click apply settings. And once it's applied, there's a verify settings button. Click the verify settings button and it's pretty much going to try and connect to the actual Wi-Fi portal now. Once the Wi-Fi has actually connected, it's going to reboot the device, which it's doing now. Now, depending on your Wi-Fi protocol, it might automatically connect to your Wi-Fi and you can literally just unplug the data cable. Otherwise, if it is, yeah, depending on the encryption that it's using, you may have to reset the device again once it's actually unplugged. So at this point in time, it is booted back up. Everything's okay. So I'm going to unplug the actual data cable from the device. And in my case, that's it all complete. That's 100% done, and it's ready to go on Wi-Fi. Thank you very much.